G'day YouTube, welcome to another video. It is the holiday season and uh, Merry Christmas to everyone. Um, I haven't been able to make any videos to address that so here we are. Um, hope everyone's having a good um, break. I've um, we've been working on the, um, we'll talk about the, uh, the Mark IV project, uh, what's next. Uh, I'm actually looking around for another project car. Uh, for myself, I don't know what um, to get, but something to do. Um, the Mark IV project that Jad and I are doing, um, we've actually done quite a bit. The other day we did um, the timing belt and water pump on it. Um, so that's a major part. That took, for the most part, most of the day. We were just um, here um, chilling and um, yeah, really wasted half the day doing nothing, but um, it was all good. Had some fun. Uh, working on cars, hanging out. Um, uh, I might think about getting another Mark IV. I've got a few bits and pieces here um, that I want to throw on to the next GTI or Golf. I've got um, I've got a, a front lip. I've got something uh, in the rear, rear spoiler. Um, so I won't show you what it is until I put it on. Um, I did have some lights, but um, Kevin sold it to Kevin because um, I thought it really looked good on his car since it's all black and he had some um, nice Porsche wheels, he had a lip, side skirts, rear spoiler, rear rear, um, rear lip, rear valance, um, the whole lot so I thought to complete his you know, the look of his car, sold it to him pretty cheap, um, cheaper than what eBay sells it for. Um, we got some new wheels for the uh, Project Golf we got some 17 inch Evolos, which are very rare. They're five spoke, um, and it comes up as an upgrade option for the VW Bora here in Australia, uh, especially for the sport models. Um, what else? I'll, um, yeah, I just wanted to say a quick, um, you know, Merry Christmas everyone and a Happy New Year. Um, and yeah, just all things to come in the, in the next year. We'll be releasing or getting another Mark IV, so you know, either a Mark IV or another 1.8T of some sort to work on. Uh, do some mods, upgrade it, tune it, you know, the works. Um, that car that I've got is running pretty mint. Um, it's only got tuning to do, um, further tuning I'm, I'm going to say. There's a little bit of misfire um, when you're driving it and you let go of the throttle and you, you go back on the throttle really quickly um, it just misfires a teeny bit and then it sort of takes off and off we go um, don't know what it is I think it's a little bit of, of over fuel um, at that point but otherwise the car runs pretty good it stays at around 11.5, 11.8, 11.12 uh, fuel according to the, um, my gauge it runs about 22 to 24 psi uh, boost. Um, the temperature is, you know, six degrees above ambient. And on really hot days, I turn on my meth uh, meth kit. Um, as you know, I've got a. Uh, if you don't know already, have a look at the videos for the uh, meth kit stored from AEM. And let me just open the door. And that's it there, I've been using it for like the whole year pretty much, on hot days only. Um, I mean, some people, in, there's a couple of ways you can you can run this, you can run it to run uh, more timing, more boost, and really push your performance. You can gain a fair bit if you tune it in to the car. I haven't tuned it, um, max gain I'll probably get is about 10, 15 horsepower, if that. Um, but what I really like about the meth kit is on hot days especially on you know 30 35 degree plus days the um, intake air temps so the air temps that the car is detecting that's going into the engine gets quite high so if it's um, you know around that 35 it gets to 40 when it's idling it's around 50 degrees on those hot days um, so I didn't like that and when I'm you know when I flick it on turn it on and drive it while it's you know, on boost, so you know, 20, 20 pounds, 22 pounds of boost. Um, the air temp drops, you know, on a 35 to 38 degree day, 
it'll drop to the 20s mid 20s so way below um, ambient air temperature so what what does that do whatever performance you have in the car it'll maintain that during hot weathers so um, you know when it gets too hot what the engine tends to do in the ECU is to it pulls timing it changes the tune a little bit and it reduces the power therefore it reduces the power so you'll, you 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 might you know you might think about oh on hot days I'm driving around why does it feel a little bit gutless why does it feel like an NA car you know and even though you can hear the, the turbo spinning it's not efficient during hot weather unfortunately and um, in Australia you know unlike Europe when you get hot weather it's really hot it's dry hot and um, it affects the performance and every turbo car I've ever owned and I've owned quite a few now I've had a Ford Laser TX3 turbo with a BPT 1.8T in it I had a, um, a Nissan Skyline GTST 2.5 uh, litre turbo straight 6 Subaru Liberty GT uh, 2 litre you know, boxer engine turbo um, they all suffered from timing pull due to heat stroke in summer doesn't matter if I had an intercooler or not you're not going to intercool um, the air temps down enough uh, beyond um, ambient air temperature so eventually whatever's in the engine bay gets too hot it'll start heat soaking everything including the intercooler and you start to lose power so unless you've got a really really big front mount intercooler to maintain that uh, which most cars don't um, yeah that's not gonna that's not gonna help but this this does this actually keeps everything in check um, you're running you know 25 degree uh, air temps in the into the engine and it just runs as if it's got you know um, full um, it runs your full max uh, tuned power for your car so love that um, money well spent I don't use it a lot on days where it's really hot I, I turn it on it's got 50 50 mix of distilled water and meth um, and you just yeah just top it up as and when you need it need to so like I said I've only ever filled it up once the first time I used it I had it on con continuously to see how how quick it um, it drops so if I leave it on for a whole week that will deplete and drain um, if I'm on boost so I just switch it on when it's really hot um, but yeah otherwise I um, that's running well With that I did um, look, I did have a little bit of an electrical issue with it where I had a, a disconnect somewhere in the car which I've now found and it affected some gauges um, and a few other bits and pieces but that's all fixed now um, it's running well the lights are all good I've actually upgraded all the lights in the rear um, the rear uh, I, I got the new um, uh, what is it called um, in pro rear tail lights from uh, their uh, red clear clear reds RCCR and um, they just look mint they suit the car really well uh, because of those clears I had to change some of the globes and I thought I'd just change all the globes to, to LEDs so reverse the two rears the everything I even upgraded the side indicator lights to LEDs as well, swapped it out for clear um, smokes. Um, what else? I've got LEDs for the headlights, but I have to actually remove the bumper and everything to get to it. So that's going to be a bit of a marking around at some stage that I'll do. Um, what else? Got um, the BBSs are running really well with the tyres. Can't complain. R32 brakes with um, upgraded rotors. Really can't complain. Rotors are Australian brand. Um, BCP can't complain at all. It's um, slotted and dimpled. Uh, new pads, which were Brembo, Brembo, Brembo brake pads. The rears have been upgraded to 280, 280 millimeter with the uh, extended um, caliper. On the side there so originally it used to be up at the top so it's now relocated to the bottom to, to uh, support the slightly larger um, rear calipers so 
red and black interior throughout leather leather everything uh, black everything at the top um, and red and black um, uh, Recaro seats still done it can't work out if it's been retrimmed or not but it's got whoever done it done it properly if they if it was retrimmed if it's from factory then it makes sense because it's actually pretty nice really nice actually um, and it's got the Recaro stitching that's the um, airbag there so it's right what have I done here so um, I've got all the gauges that I need I've got the boost gauge um, air, air fuel ratio great gauge make sure that it's not running too rich or too lean too lean it explodes too rich it'll wash out the uh, cylinder, cylinder um, oil temp make sure it's hot enough before I give it some um, some beans um, this little dial here is just a remote for the head unit um, just to give it a physical button uh, head, head unit it's all connected it's just the cheap eBay um, screen that I got this is the meth switch meth kit switch for the car that's down there is where I um, adjust when meth uh, starts injecting into the engine uh, for high and low boost or um, initial oops, for initial boost and for full boost what else is there US spare console love it love it love it one of the best mods um, yeah it's just not a bad car to be in when I get to drive it so try and drive it every chance I get um, but yeah it's looking like I took the roof racks off for the time being just to uh, drive it around during the holidays without it. Looks like a completely different car. And um, yeah, it just drives really well. But yeah, um, otherwise, yeah, I just uh, wanted to thank everyone for watching and supporting the channel. Um, yeah, gained. 800 odd subscribers uh, shout out to, to Anya um, uh, Srinidhi and Harry from New Zealand as well for subscribing a few times um, but yeah it's been a it's been a good year thank you everyone for watching stay tuned for the next year I'll try and you know make some more videos um, as much as I can I've got three kids um, so that's uh, that presents its own challenges new job as well so trying to make sure i'm across all of that stuff so really it's just some after work days and you know some weekends if that um but really it's just been really busy with the, the family at home so don't feel too bad i will be making as many vo uh, videos as i can i'm always looking for for the next project car um so yeah i'll do what i can but um thanks everyone for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video